Normally when I say to people that you can start a business or investment with no money and no security, the first reaction, it's impossible. And the second reaction is, but how? And when I say to people, all you have to do is to apply the Rainmaker's skill in order to start that business and grow that business or that investment, the next question is, but what's the Rainmaker skill? And a Rainmaker skill is one of the most important skills that you can ever master in your life. If you want to generate more income or you want to start a business, a serious business, and take it through all seven levels, or you want to start with the investment, basically with no money, no security. The problem is that this specific skill is, is not taught anywhere. And if you do not know of stuff, you can't apply it. And a skill is always when you can apply that, that you know. Otherwise, you do not have a skill. You've just got a lot of information. So the educational system takes us through a process where we get information and then we confuse that information with knowledge. So we say, but we know, but you don't know because you can't do. And as long as you can't do stuff, you don't understand that. So when you build a skill, it is by doing, by experiencing. It's by doing that you get the applied knowledge and it's by the, having the applied knowledge as well as the experience that you can say you've got a skill. And when you've got all three of them, you've got the competency. In other words, you are able to do that yourself. So here is the, the thing. Maybe before we get there, if you're new to this channel, I'm Hannes Dreyer. I'm the founder of the Wealth Creators Method, where we help entrepreneurs and investors to create, to grow, and to protect their wealth. And the fundamental, the basis of this teaching is you must have the Rainmaker's skill. Now, the Rainmaker skill is a startup skill, but you can also take it through all seven levels in a business or in terms of your investment. So it's a crucial skill to master, but like I've said, very, very few people actually know about the skill. So if you come to me and you say, it's impossible, it simply means that there's a limited belief. Nothing wrong with that. Because we are conditioned through the educational system that something like this and the financial system like something like this is simply not possible. And the moment that we start to believe that we're going to start to prove it for ourselves. But what if it's not the truth? What if there is a way where you can start a business or an investment with no money, absolutely no money, and grow it to a multi-million empire over a couple of years? Would you be interested to know that? Right, that's the first thing. Say, for example, you are, because otherwise I don't think you'll be listening to me right now. Is that, but how? How do you get a skill? Here's the problem. I can demonstrate the skill to you. I can tell you the skill, but you still will not be able to do it unless you follow a very simple process or a specific process. And it depends on you if that process is going to be simple or complicated, because some people just have to have and make stuff in the, in the world complicated. So what's the process that I'm following? First of all, I start off with a goal. Unless you know exactly what it is that you want, you're not going to get it. Uh, a goal is just to direct all your focus in order to achieve that specific goal. So I'm going to say, for example, like in the 500k challenge, within two years, I'm going to start with $6.52 um, or 100 rand here in South Africa. And I'm going to build that to $500,000 without spending more than the $6.52. That is the goal. So how do I know if I'm going to be successful? The definition that Earl Nightingale is using for success is success is a progressive realization of a worthy goal. So the 500000 dollars that to me within a two-year period is a worthy goal to start off with six dollars fifty two one hundred rand in south africa so that is a goal but it's a progressive realization in other words it's the incremental working towards that that means it's not a whoops and there we are it's going to be a process so what do i need to do in order to be successful i have to get the right skill sets or the right competencies in the right order for the level of the game that I'm at and then I have to apply it. Why do I have to apply it? Well, that is what's going to give me the skill and the experience and the applied knowledge to see what's working and what's not working. But there's another reason for that and that is simply the moment that I do it, I can see if I'm progressing towards my goal, yes or no. 
if I do not progress towards my goal, if I don't move towards my goal, it simply means I haven't got the competency. In other words, my understanding of this that I'm busy doing is not right. And that is going to give me the skill. So I have to do it in a specific process or order because otherwise it's not going to work. Now, is there a quick way to do it and to learn the skill? And there is. And this is a, sk a skill and, a, and something that I've learned from one of my first mentors. And that was what we call the golden triangle. And the golden triangle is not a quick way, but it's the easiest way for you to learn and to master a new skill. Now, what is a skill? A skill is like riding a bicycle. I think that you'll agree with me that no one can teach you how to ride a bicycle. You can't read it in a, in, in a book and watch YouTube videos like most people do when they think that they want to know something. That is not going to, to help you. You have to get on that bicycle. But what if there's a process that can teach you a serious, serious skill in a relative short period of time? I'm a helicopter pilot and I'd like to take you through this process and then link that back to the Rainmaker skill to show you how simple the skill is but how important it is to get the right information, the right order for the level of the game that you're at. So the easiest way to do it is get a mentor. Get someone that has done that that you want to achieve in your life. Maybe it's weight loss, maybe it's got to do with relations, and maybe it's got to do with uh, starting a business or investment and growing that business or that investment. So get someone that has actually done it, not by selling courses or not by teaching, but actually in real life have done it and be able to prove it. Then that mentor, he or she must also have a system that they followed in order to get from nowhere, in other words, no money, to millions. Right. If they haven't got that system, there's nothing that is going to take too long. They must have the system. Now, what's the system? A system is actually the process and procedures to follow in order to learn the skills. So when we look at this golden triangle, you're going to find that on top, find the right mentor that has got a system that is proven that he or she used to become successful themselves, but also at the later stage take, uh, took students through and they got exactly the same or even better results. And then the last part of this triangle is the skill. Now, in order to get a skill, you must get the experience. So a course or the function of any course is to teach you how to get and apply that specific skill. And the moment that you've got that, then it's very, very easy. Then you'll be able to do it. So when I started flying helicopters, what I did was to follow this triangle. And I discover a person and I selected the person that had more than 5,000 hours of teaching other people. And I think that you'll agree that's a lot of hours to be in the air with a student next to you. That was the first thing. The second thing is, I phoned that person. I'd like to take you through the process so that you can make the connection how to learn a skill. And I made an appointment. And he said to me, the only way to see if I'll be able to take you through. Now, instructor and a mentor is basically exactly the same thing. It's just different names for the same thing. So I'd like to, to take you on a sortie. It's going to take about 15 minutes. You book the chopper. I'll throw in my time for free and just to see if you'll be able to get it within 50 hours and get this license. So I got there. We got in the chopper. He started explaining there's only basically three to four things in a chopper in order to be able to fly. The first is there's a cyclic, right? Uh, the second thing, there's a collective. On the collective, on a small chopper, there's a throttle. And then there's what we call the U pedals. So only four things. Now, check here. If I know about those four things and I looked on YouTube videos, does it mean that I'll be able to fly a helicopter? No, it, it, you will not fly that chopper. Uh, he explained to me this process, got into the air, get clearance from, from the tower, and we started flying. And it, within two to three minutes, he said to me, I want to see if you can follow instructions. So the way to fly, this is called the cyclic, 
but it's very, very light. It's not like in the movies where they throw this thing around. You, you almost only think about something left or right or forward or backwards, and it's going to start to move that direction. I want you to take the cyclic. I've got the rest. You just take the cyclic. I'm hands on, but I want you to take the cyclic and then move it very, very slowly forward to see what's going to happen. And after a while, he said, okay, now move it backward, bring it backwards, right, stuff like that. And then he said to me, okay, now I want you to see, but we, we're at a thousand feet in the air. And then he said to me, I want you to handle the, the collective. I'll do the rest. I'll handle the throttle. I'll handle the, the pedals. i handle the cycling. All you have to do is the collective. And two or three minutes of this, and then it was the pedals. And then he said, okay, is it okay if I show you so that you can feel how it feels. And he did the bank, about 30, 45 degrees, serious bank. Um, those small choppers do not have uh, doors, hatches, right? So it's, it, it's, it's a crazy, but a, a lovely feeling. And then he said, okay, what do you think is going to happen if I cut this, this motor? I said, okay, I, I've got no idea, but I don't think I want to be in this. He said, no, there's a way, we call it autoritation. Can I demonstrate this to you and show you that I'm going to cut this, the engine, and then we can land safely? Because this is what you need to do if you want to become a helicopter pilot. Can you see the goal? So if there's a problem, we call it risk in, finance, uh, in, in, in the financial or in the business world. If that risk happens, that we can still land this thing safely. And I said to him, yes, which he did. And after that, we were, went back and he said, you'll be able to fly within 50 hours and master this whole thing. Now, why is that important? When we start with a business, there's certain things. And I asked Chris at the latest stage, I said to him, Chris, why did you take me out on that 15 minute sortie? He said, first of all, I want to give you value. And the value is that within a certain time, you'll be able to get your chopper license. Right? But secondly, I don't want to waste my time because if you during that first sortie would start telling me how to do it and you want to skip and you want to, you could not follow instructions, I would not take you on because my life is going to depend on you following instructions. Is there a relationship between that and learning a skill in terms of finances and so forth? Yeah, because my name is in the game. So when I started to teach you, I want to make sure that you can follow instructions. And therefore, I always invite people to a two hour to a three hour webinar. In this case, there's the 500k challenge that I'd like to invite you to. And there's a reason. If you are not prepared to sit through this and follow the instructions during that webinar, I know for a fact that I don't want to be your mentor. Because you're not going to do what you have to do in order to start a business with no money or grow that business or grow that investment. I know that. And I'm going to do you a huge disfavor. In other words, I'm not going to help you. I want you to get that results. And if you want to skip levels, it's better for you not to start this process. Waste this video, right? in terms of the time, like that 15 minute, that 15 minute, by the way, cost me money. I invite you to a webinar that is for free. But see if this is, can you follow the instructions that I'm going to give you during that webinar? If not, you know that you will never master the skill. It's that simple. And then he said to me, the second thing that, that was important to him, he wanted to see how I'm going to react under pressure. Because if you fly and you start getting into a panic attack, while you're in the air. That means that you are going to get into serious problems. And I see this with, with my students. You know, the moment that you get overwhelmed with the information, it simply means, first of all, that you did not follow the instructions and that you did not exercise, in other words, train in order to handle that. Because the way that Chris took me through this 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 process was always built the one skill on top of another skill. Now the Rainmaker skill, the way that it works, first of all, there's a canvas. You first have to figure out, but what, what's the basics that I need 
so that I can start this investment or business with no money? How can I add value to other people in the process and then to take it through the process? So you always start with what we call the canvas, with your investment, with your business, if you want to get a high skill, uh, income skill, Always, the process is always, always the same. Next, you're going to learn about what we call copywriting. Now, copywriting, there's a process. There are 37 steps in order to get to a sales letter. And that sales letter I can use for a webinar. I can use it for a, um, a seminar. I can use it for, for anything that I need to present. For example, my idea, right? You need to understand that because unless you follow that process and master the 37 step process, you will not be able to set up a landing page or you will not be able to set up a marketing campaign. It simply will not be possible. Now, to most people it sounds overwhelming, but the reason why it sounds overwhelming is suddenly I've mentioned 30 step, 37 steps, but it's not 37 steps, it's one step. You just do the first step until you've got it. Then you move on to the second step. Then suddenly you're not going to be overwhelmed. It's not going to be, what? It's because we learn stuff to pass a subject and we try to cram all of that information. That's why we become inf uh, overwhelmed. It should never be the moment that you start to feel overwhelmed, you understand and you must know that you are skipping levels. Right, so it's a very natural process and it can happen very, very quickly. Within three, four hours, I've, I could hover. Right, and that is a basis in order to fly. Exactly the same thing applies to don't ever be in a situation, if you're overwhelmed, it's because I guarantee you, you've started to skip different levels or you wanted to get the results too quickly instead of mastering the skill. And by simply following this process, like I did with, with Chris, with my instructor, within 50 hours, I had my, my license. Now, do you know that you need a lot less practical hours in order to start a business, to grow a business, or to start an investment with no money? But you have to follow those instructions. So the way that I do it, I want to invite you to a two hour, if you are interested in this stuff, to learn that skill. And then after that, make a decision if this is something that you can work with, because then you have to rely on yourself. Do I want to have these skills in order to start to grow my business, yes or no? And then am I prepared to follow the instructions? If not, then don't do it. And don't do any course. I, I, I promise you, my friend, you can watch all the YouTube videos in the world. You can watch all the, learn all the material, get a fancy degree, a CPA, a CFP, a CA, Chartered Accountant. You can get a BCom degree. And you still will not be able to know how to start a business with no money or how to grow a business like with a million or two million percent. You will not know that. You can be a fund manager. I've got fund managers that attended my courses, right, that handle millions, literally millions, billions of funds uh, in terms of, 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 of money. And they don't know how to do it themselves, right? They know how to rely on other people, but they cannot grow their own money by a million and two million percent. So if you're serious about this and you want perhaps to learn this and a lot of other skills, attend that two-hour two webinar. There will be time to ask me any question and then make a decision. Then you'll know if this is something for you or not. But then you'll also know within a very short time, when I say that I can start a business with no money or investment with no money, or that I can learn a new skill in a very short time without costing me money, you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. I don't have to demonstrate. It's like you're sitting right next to me in that helicopter, right? I ask and I say to you, put your feet very lightly on the pedals and take the collective. You don't do anything, just feel what I'm doing. I guarantee you that most of the time you will not feel how small those corrections are when you fly. It's almost like you transfer your thoughts into that. And that is exactly, and 
after that you will still not be able to fly it unless you've gone through the process to learn how to fly. And that is a function of the mentor, is to catch you so that in the event that things do go wrong, you take the risk out. So how do we do this with money? We start with nothing. Will you agree with me if you start with nothing, there's nothing that you can lose. No security. You don't go to the bank and say, okay, I, I see people say, yeah, I can buy a property with no. And by the way, I've got a course on property to teach you this. And I start with using the bank's money. But do you know that there are other eight techniques that you can use that you don't need the bank in order to start it? It's just because it's easier to use the banks that we start that program by showing you that because that is where most people are going to start. But you can be bankrupt, you can be insolvent, you, you can have no job, no experience and still be able on condition that you learn the skill, the rainmaker skill. So I'd like to invite you to, if you are up to this, to join me in this, in this 500k challenge. There will be time for question and answer and I will not leave until each and every question has been answered. So that you can make up your mind and see if this is something. But I think from my point of view, there's no, it's the most valuable skill that I've ever mastered in my life. And I would love, I would love to be your mentor if you think that I can qualify. And if you think that you qualify, in other words, that you can follow directions, as well as that when you start feeling overwhelmed, you go back to the basics and first master that level. So in short, the, the full process for the Rainmaker skill is the canvas, then the copyright process that you can use in different ways. That's going to help you at the later stage and then to build a prototype. But I'll take you through that. So where can you use it? You can use it for investment. You can use it for digital business, for website businesses, which is basically digital. But you can also use it for literally any business. Uh, I had students that, that started this in every single industry almost imaginable that they've started and that they got the results. So if you're up to that and you think this can help you, please click on that. Also, uh, please uh, like, subscribe to this channel. If you haven't done so, click that bell icon. Uh, I'm doing videos like this on a on a week-to-week -week basis in order to educate and to trade. And then, of course, if you think that this can help someone else, I'd love you to share this uh, as well. So um, I hope to see you in the webinar. If not, make sure that I'll see you at least next week when the next lesson will be out. So subscribe and I'll see you then. Thanks for your time.